Hey y'all, we got some boxes to unbox. All right, so I've decided to go ahead and do this video with all three of my like $10-ish subscription boxes. So we are going to do the July Ipsy, Sephora Play, and Lip Monthly. So the first bag I received this month was my Lip Monthly bag. And let's go ahead and check this out. So here's the July bag. It's orange with little pink starfish on it. I mean, it's kind of cute. I feel like the orange should be lighter or brighter. It's just kind of dark. Um, when this is under a bright light, you can almost not even see the pink starfish. So here's the card. It says July 2017. We received four products in this lip monthly bag. And the first product we have here is by IBY Beauty. And this is a lip aligner pencil. Ooh, hopefully this isn't a color I like. I think it's gonna be a really pretty mauve color. Wow, that's a horrible swatch. But yes, it's a very pretty mauve color. This is a lip liner I can definitely see myself using. This color will pretty much go with most neutral color lipsticks, so that I like. It is a wood pencil, so that means I'm gonna have to use my own sharpener, which I'm not a huge fan of. I like the ones that you can just twist up because they're a little bit easier to deal with, um, and I don't have to find a pencil sharpener. But I do like this one, so this is a good product. All right, the next product is a Pixie by Petra. This looks to be like a lip balm. Yeah, it says that it is a Shea Butter lip balm. And I'm guessing it's going to be like in a mauve color like the lid, which it looks like it is. And let's go ahead and swatch it. All right, so it has a slight mauve tinge to it. Oh, wow, it smells like crayons, though. It smells like cheap lipstick or crayons. I'm not a fan of that smell. Hmm. All right, so this next package, I'm in love with the packaging on this. This is from Hello Neon, and it is a liquid lipstick in this box, y'all. Hello Neon has it popping. This packaging is so cool. Like, I want a bag that looks like this. Why couldn't this bag look like this packaging? Because this bag's hideous compared to this box. And it looks like the color I got is Party Pop. Let's get the party popping. Mm -mm. Ooh, the inside packaging is very pretty, just like the box. Love the gold. Let's go ahead and swatch Party Pop. Wow, it looks like I'm doing watercolors. These are horrible swatches. Okay, so I tried to clean up that swatch slightly for you. It's still damp, so I don't know if you can tell, but it does have a slight metallic to it. It feels very whipped. This is a velvet liquid lipstick, so I'm not sure if it's going to be long wearing, um, but the color is nice. All right, and the last product we received this month is a Nana Dakar beauty product, and it says Prime Time on the back, so I'm guessing this is a primer. Yes, this is. This is a primer. So I'm guessing an eyeshadow primer, but that's pretty nice. So Lip Monthly is, I believe, $12.95 a month, and this month we got $63 in value for these four products, which I think is fairly good for a $12 subscription bag. As y'all know, I've been on the fence with Lip Monthly for several months now, but this month I'm really happy, so I think we're going to keep hanging on to them. Next, let's go ahead and get into... Ipsy! Ipsy is by far one of my favorites and I have seen a sneak peek of the bag this month and I'm super excited to see it in person. Oh my god, it's so stinking cute! It is as cute in person as I thought it would be. Oh wow, one thing I didn't notice was that the bag is actually like a pearl essence. I love the material of this bag. This is a really nice high quality bag right here and that egg is so sticky cute just look at that butt love it this bag oh it's so cute of course it says ipsy on the tag like they usually do and let's go ahead and see what i have in this bag it feels pretty good like it's it's a decent thickness this month 
All right, so the theme is over easy. I'm guessing that's why we have the little egg here. Ooh, the first product I have here is a banana setting powder. All right, so this powder is from Bella Pierre Cosmetics. And I've actually never used a banana powder, but I'm excited to use this. This is a good size sample too, y'all. There is 0.14 ounces in here, which I feel like this is a really good size sample, especially for an Ipsy bag. I mean, Ipsy's only $10. I mean, I feel like we've got $10 worth already and we still have more products to go. So Tristique is the next product I got here, which I believe this is a concealer stick. And I got the color Bisque. Okay, so by the way, that Hello Neon lipstick is definitely gonna be long wearing because I've been scrubbing and I'm having a hard time getting this off. All right, so let's go ahead and try out this concealer. And yeah, I think the color might be okay for me. I mean, my face is definitely going to be a little bit darker than my hand will be. I don't think I want to use it under my eye, but this might be good for like pimples. All right, so the next product in my bag is Kadali, and this it looks to be a moisturizing sherbet. I've actually received this before. I don't know if it was an Ipsy or if it was another subscription bag, but I know I've used this before and I did like it. Who? We got a illuminator brush. Who is this from? This is from Bing Bengachi. This feels really nice. And I love makeup brushes, so I'm definitely not going to complain about getting a makeup brush. Ooh, and this one I'm super excited about. This is from Tarte Cosmetics, and I love this metallic gold alligator skin on the top. And it is a bronzer. And this is a nice size pan. And it's called a Park Avenue Princess. All right, I want to go ahead and try this out right now. I think that this is pretty darn good. So let's go ahead and swatch it on my hand so you guys can see it a little bit better. All right, so here is a swatch of it. As you can tell, it has a little bit of shimmer to it almost like a gold kind of shimmer to it but it's pretty mild there's not like chunks of gold in there it's just kind of got that nice warm summery glow kind of look that you want from a bronzer it's not so much a contour shade but it's a great bronzer lastly in my ipsy bag if you complete your surveys each month and give them feedback on the products that you received you can win points and with my points i actually purchased another product from kadali i think that's how you say it and this is a soothing eye cream. I'm not getting any younger, so I'm always trying to find creams to keep the bags down and the wrinkles down because I rub my eyes all the time. I squint all the time because I can't see. I'm like technically blind without my contacts. Even with my glasses on, sometimes I just don't see that well. Um, I am trying to make sure I always have sunglasses in the car because that is the worst spot. Like you're driving like this, like, uh, uh. I can't see like you can't even see the road but anyway so I also got this product I am super happy with my ipsy bag I think ipsy is great every month I don't know of a time that I've like absolutely hated my ipsy bag but y'all look the inside of this bag is also yellow it's so cute this I think is my favorite ipsy bag I've ever got I mean this little egg's butt like it's just so darn cute all right, next we're going to go ahead and get into Sephora Play. Sephora Play is also only $10 a month. And here is the little bag this month. They usually do these little like satchel pouch bags, which these are great for traveling to put jewelry or hair products, things like that in. But this one says Glamp Out. So I guess they're going with like a camping theme since it's summertime. Sephora Play also includes a coupon card that you can get 50 points by bringing that in and then they also include a ton of information about the products that are in your bag which I love does not tell you what they cost but it does tell you about the products because sometimes I don't know what it is all right I'm just on a roll with Kadali apparently because I just got another one of their products this is a glow activating anti-wrinkle serum so hey Love that. Like I was just saying, that's the whole point. No wrinkles for me, please. And this is 0.33 fluid ounces. So this is a really good size sample. 
Again, this is a $10 bag, so ooh, we got a Bobbi Brown mascara. Girl, I love mascaras. Let's see what the wand looks like. Oh, that's my kind of wand. It looks thick and juicy and fluffy. Yeah. And it looks like that there is a ton of product on the wand when you pull it out and I love that. Sometimes with sample mascaras, they don't put enough mascara actually in the tube and then they're kind of dry. So this one looks really moist. And I know some people hate that word, but I like it. All right, so Tarte is apparently a hot item right now in these subscription boxes. I got a Tarte lipstick and this is the Rainforest of the Sea lipstick. And the color I received is called Set Sail. Okay, so this is a pretty small sample, but if I wore this every day, it would probably last at least a week. So it's definitely enough to see if you like the lipstick. And let's go ahead and swatch the color. Oh, y'all, this is my color. The color actually looks very similar to what I am wearing, um, which right now I'm wearing, what is this? Family Jewels by Jeffree Star. And then I mixed a little of the Stila lipstick called Patina. And I put that kind of like in the middle. So it's like a mixture of these two. And it looks like I got that in a lipstick formula. All right, so next is our perfume sample. I love that Sephora Play gives you a free perfume sample every month. I collect these and I put them all in a little apocathery, apocathery, how do you say that word? Apocathery. I don't know, I put them all in a glass jar and collect them and you know, when I'm going to the special occasions, I'll usually pull one out and use it that day. I'm cheap. I don't buy a lot of perfumes. Unless my mom buys them for me, I'm not buying them myself. All right, so this one is called Clean Reserve. And who makes this? All right, so I don't see it on the package, but here, in our pamphlet, it says a do attitude. So maybe that's who makes this or maybe clean reserve is the one that makes it. Either way, we're gonna go ahead and try this out. I already have some perfume on, so we're gonna spray it on the back of my hand actually. And I'm just going to let that aerate for a second. Okay, this one I really do like. It is a clean, fresh, kind of naturey smell. It's not like clean linen. It's kind of like that fresh, like nature woodsy kind of smell. It says that the notes that are in it are honeysuckle, blue cypress, birchwood. Um, it has some blooming jasmine in it, black amber. So yeah, it's definitely got that natural earthy kind of smell, but in a very fresh, clean way. It's not a very heavy or too woodsy, you know. I don't like to smell like mulch. But yeah, I really like this one. All right, so the next product we have is a leave-in conditioner. All right, one unique thing about this leave-in conditioner is it is a plant-powered product, um, which it looks like this brand, which I can't pronounce. I don't, I, I'm not even gonna try to butcher it. But this brand does a lot of plant-based products. Um, so that's pretty cool, I like that. I have a very fine, thin hair that tends to go on the oily side, so I don't use a lot of leave-in conditioner sprays. So this one, I will probably pass one to someone else. But let's go ahead and smell it. Okay, comes out kind of thick. Oh wow, this is a really good smell. It's like a citrusy, soapy kind of smell. So this does have a nice smell to it, especially for it being plant-based. Because sometimes that stuff can be stanky. All right, and the last product we got I'm really excited about. This is a face mask from the brand Fresh, and it is a rose face mask, and it's a hydrating and toning gel. All right, so that is what the gel looks like on the inside. It looks kind of gross, but it's kind of cool at the same time. It definitely has like mushed up rose petals in there. Oh wow, this smells so good. This smells like fresh roses, not even like, you know, that fake rose smell. This really smells like fresh roses. I'm curious how much this costs. I'm about to look this one up because I have a feeling it's expensive. Okay, so I found the mask. I found it on Sephora's website and it is $25 for one fluid ounce and they gave me a half an ounce. 
So this is worth $12.50. So this is this right here is worth more than what I paid for my entire Sephora Play box this month. I am really happy. Like we are on a roll. Like the boxes have been so good, which makes me kind of nervous for Glossy Box either the trend's gonna continue or that's where we're gonna bomb. So I look forward to seeing you guys again soon. Bye y'all.